Hi, welcome to Hearth Stories Read Aloud series for parents and educators. Whether you're working with your own children at home, in a classroom full of students, or teaching remotely online, we're going to give you three exercises that you can use to build self-awareness, social awareness, and responsible decision-making skills in your children as you talk about gratitude together. So for the first activity, we're gonna start off really simply and just have a conversation with the kids. We might ask something like, tell me about a time where you shared something with somebody. Or we may even begin by modeling the dialogue ourselves. You know, one time my friend came over and we decided to draw pictures together, but she forgot her crayons and I shared mine. Has that ever happened to you? Modeling this sort of language gets the kids' thoughts really flowing and sets the tone for an example and an attitude of sharing. As an extension to this exercise, you may also want to have older children, rather than sharing orally, decide to write about or draw about a time where they shared or were shared with others. This is especially helpful too if you're working with larger groups of students and not everyone can share orally. It gives all students a chance to feel like they're expressing themselves, even if they're not taking a turn out loud on a carpet or talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. And even if it is just you one-on-one -on -one at home with your own child, you can still choose to draw or write about the activity too, just as a fun extension. So really just start that conversation and ask those questions about how did it make you feel when someone shared with you? How do you feel when you share with others? Asking questions about the situation and the stories really helps kids to talk about and think about times where gratitude has been important in their lives. For the second activity, you're going to be reading the book, The Wonderful Feast by Esper Sabladkina. If you don't have access to a copy of it, it's on the Hearth Story channel and I'll read it to you. This is also a great tool if you're working virtually with students and want to send them a link to the story to watch at home. So in this story, there's animals and they share a meal progressively. One animal leaves some for the next, that one leaves some for the next, and then the next animal and so on and so on and everybody has just enough. So with this book, we're really building the concept of when we think about others, when we only take what we need, when we share, everybody wins. For the third activity, you're going to do a mindful moment together. Find a comfortable seated position and stretch your arms up high overhead, taking three deep breaths. If you're working virtually, you can play them the Just a Minute Mindfulness for Kids exercise. Be sure that when you read this meditation to the children, you take breaths and pause in between each of your sentences. This allows them processing time to really think about the deeper meaning of your words. In this mindful moment, we're going to challenge children to really think about where their food comes from and have gratitude for it. Just like the animals in the story were able to get their food because someone left it for them and someone before that and someone before that, we're going to expand the child's concept of food delivery and food sources by making them think back to the refrigerator and the store and the market and the shelves and the warehouse and the farm and all the places where their food may have come from and just taking a moment to have that aha where we're so thankful for all the helping hands and hearts that have touched our food. Once you've finished the reflection, have the children take three slow mindful breaths before opening their eyes again. To close out the lesson, you'll remind children that when we share, everybody wins. You can ask them how they'll take their learning forward into their actions by practicing gratitude. What decisions can they make to share with others? What are some times where they can feel thankful for what they have? There's many opportunities to practice gratitude together, and we hope that these activities have been helpful in getting you started. For more activities and resources, visit hearthstory.com or check out our YouTube channel. Take care.